Revolutionary Music Makers. I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. Where we help you make great music that stands out. If it's your first time here, please help yourself to our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Skills and Chords, which you can download from our website, hackmusictheory.com. And just before we jump into the lesson, a quick reminder that today is the last day that everything on our website is 40% off. So if you are ready to go deep and learn how to write great songs from start to finish, then our online apprenticeship course is for you. If you're in a hurry though, then we recommend grabbing our songwriting and producing PDF, which contains all the essential music making hacks. All right, without further ado, it's time to open your door to hack music theory. But first, matcha. <laughs> The theory hack in this lesson is from the new single Free My Skin by the inspirational London collective Steam Down. But the music in this lesson, which you'll hear at the end, is actually our music that we wrote using their theory. On that note, we could definitely make lessons on their melodies, chords, and bass as well, because there's so much interesting theory going on in those. Mm -hmm. But this lesson is all about rhythm, so we'll focus on their drum groove. Right, so start by setting your tempo to 146 BPM, then make two bars of 4-4 four, four with your grid set to 16th notes. Now, the first standout feature you'll notice is that tempo. That ain't a tempo for sitting on your ass and listening, that's a tempo for dancing. This is just one of the many refreshing aspects of this new UK jazz movement. And this isn't really jazz, this is the sound of London. You see, London, which is my hometown, is a melting pot of cultures, so its music is a reflection of that. This is why you'll hear elements from homegrown grime, Jamaican dancehall, West African Afrobeat, and more, all coming together in this new sound. And this musical melting pot is perfectly captured by Steam Down. By the way, big shout out to Gary Crosby and all the other heroes at the Tomorrow's Warriors charity for their life-changing educational work behind this movement. Step one, four on the floor, almost. <laughs> the driving force behind this awesome groove is an almost four on the floor pattern on the kick. The drummer plays beat one, three and four, but not beat two. This creates a super dancey groove, but leaves space for something more interesting. Step two, more syncopation. Next, in that space left open by not playing a kick on beat two, the drummer plays a couple syncopated snare hits on beats one uh and two and. Then in the second bar, there's even more syncopation as there are three syncopated snare hits on beats one uh, two e, and two uh. Step three, irregular hats. Now there's only one rule when it comes to the hats in this groove, don't play beat two. By leaving that beat totally open, the drummer ensures that the super funky groove created from all those syncopated snares is not watered down. Because this is steam down, not watered down. <laughs> also, by having some rests on the hats, it creates an irregular pattern which keeps the groove unpredictable. And lastly, there's a 30 second note thrown in for extra spice. All right, now let's have a listen to this melting pot of rhythms from around the world. But just before the playthrough, if there's an artist you'd like us to hack, please let us know. And don't forget, today is the last day of our epic sale. So get over to hackmusictheory.com right after this lesson for 40% off everything. Thanks for watching or listening here on the podcast, and we'll see you next time.